One champagne, my good sir. Oh my god, it's Alistair! I never thought he'd be so handsome in person. I truly admire your work as a radio host. I've been listening to your golden voice every day. I'm so happy to meet you. <laughs> I'm flattered, dear. Am I drunk? It seems I've chosen my next victim for the night. I better introduce myself to this fine lady. Bonjour, belle dame. The name is Alistair. Charmed. Pleasure to meet you, dear. Nice meeting you too, Mr. Alistair. I'm Rosie, owner of the Emporium downtown. An Emporium? How curious. Would you care for a dance? Yes, I'd be delighted. Let's see what this charming mademoiselle has up her sleeve. My, I have to say, you really are good at dancing, darling. Let's pick up the pace, shall we? I never thought that the famous radio host would be a good dancer. And I never thought that someone could keep up with me. I'm impressed, Miss Rosie. What, what was that just now? His eyes flashed red. Am I seeing things? Am I hallucinating? I have a bad feeling about this. I think I need to go. He might potentially be the killer on the loose. I need to make a quick excuse to get out of here immediately. I don't want to get involved in any problem. Thank you, it's been a while since I had fun on a party like this. But unfortunately I have to go. I have some business to take care of. Adieu, Monsieur. I suppose so. I too have something to deal with later on. Though I might visit your emporium when the time is right. I would really like to have a chat. Adieu, dear. Oh, there goes my plan on avoiding him. What is he up to? If my suspicions of him being the killer is correct, then I might be his next victim. Too bad I lost track of my prey. Oh well, maybe I'll get a chance next time. Hey there, darling. Wanna have a good time with me? You're quite the looker. You should be grateful that such a handsome man such as me has caught his eye on you. Should I interfere? How about a drink for a lovely lady like you? What a pathetic way of introducing yourself to a lady. I'll have to add him to my homicidal list later on. What a tempting offer, but I'm famished. Rather than having a drink that I already had at the party, I suggest a dinner would suffice, and you'll be the main course. <coughs> it would be a wise decision to keep your mouth shut, Monsieur. Don't worry. I'll make sure no part of you will be wasted after I kill you. You can rest assured. <laughs> and may your soul be mine to own for all eternity. We will meet again in hell, my good fellow. Until the time comes, I hope the attitude of yours that you showed me earlier would change. If you don't, then you'll have to die twice. <laughs> Judging by your reaction, my suspicions are right. So, you're the infamous smiling killer Alistair. Clever woman, and here I thought I was heartless. <laughs> <laughs> A word of advice from an experienced killer. Think carefully to where you kill your target, dear. Or else you might end up sitting in an electric chair. People are more alert these days. Well, it's understandable, considering that my killings are more frequent for the past week or so. You had me fooled! Who'd have guessed you were the other killer, darling? I was curious to who was behind all the killings that weren't my doing. You're truly full of surprises, Miss Rosie. Oh, I know what I'm doing, honey. Don't underestimate a woman's capabilities. I've practically done this for years, so don't worry. 
My oh my. Never thought I would run into a fellow dark magic partitioner. No wonder those fools never caught you red-handed. <laughs> I thought you said you have something to deal with. And here you are, following me like a predator. With every decision I make, I have my reasons, dear. I couldn't simply stand by and watch while a damsel in distress needs to be saved. After all, my mother raised me to be a gentleman. So my apologies if my intention seemed erroneous to you. Apology accepted. You have a rather fine taste in flesh, my dear. I overheard that you'll be having dinner. If you don't mind, may I join you? I can even help you cook the poor fella. 